A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yet again, True is having a rant. When we know that he's just mad at Nature Boy, he's just taking it out on who he can take it out on. If Sheba was in front of him, he'd take it out on her. If Ja was in front of him, he might take it out on him. True needs to go home, get some counseling, be a father to his child, and let this all go. He goes from being the rational one out of carbonation. Quiet, reserved, don't say much, ain't got time to talk to any Babylonians in the first place. He's on another level to he's on uh, on some demon time now. Which one are you? He's going to keep draining your energy because that is who Nature Boy is. He is a still a little boy, 40 years old, trying to figure out his life. Change your name either to you got two choices. Change your name to Mama something or change your name to uh, Nature Girl something. That's how we rocking. Either you get to be Nature Girl, whatever, or you change your name to Mama, whatever. And he's even blaming people for why his life turned out the way he turned out. And it's sad. He could have done a lot more with his life than be behind than to be sitting behind bars, behind some bullshit, you know. And he did this to himself. You can't blame us. It's almost like he's trying to maybe say if we weren't watching what Nature Boy was doing, you know what I'm saying, and being so ratchet and ghetto, you people, as he, he, he describes us, maybe Nature Boy wouldn't be where he's at. That, that's what, 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 what it's giving me. It's, it's, it's no one's fault but everybody else's. Nature Boy is... Come on, people! What do you got to lose? Aim high. What do you got to lose? Aim high. God damn it. Go for it all. This innocent person who doesn't do anything wrong. He's, a, uh, he's an innocent man who's being uh, falsely accused of the unthinkable. When we know how Nature Boy gets down, we know that he thinks that everything is his worldly possessions. It's a one mind, one self. And, you know, you're just in his world and you should be uh, grateful to be in his world. And that's why you need to be uh, handing over your SSI, your SSDI checks and all your worldly possessions, because he's the three God. But if he was God, he would be able to get himself out. Now, True was mad because he has to retract what he was saying. Most people don't believe in themselves. They don't have a healthy sense of self-esteem. So if you do, you have to be crazy because that's the only way they can process you. And at the beginning, months ago, with the Nature Boy was getting out. He was trying to make us believe every month that Nature Boy was getting out. Even when we heard the judge say he's a liability and a threat to society. True is in denial. True, you look bad. You're back in that black shirt again. You've been wearing it for days again. True has gone crazy. Now, I knew he was crazy, but he's all the way crazy now. And it's sad. It's really sad that he is putting himself through this. Nature Boy treated you poorly. Don't like their own self. Most people are struggling to like themselves. So who gives a... Nature Boy did you bad. Nature Boy took Sheba away from you. Okay, Nature Boy had Sheba first. Then Nature Boy passed her along to you, gave you the leftovers. But you caught feelings for Sheba. Sheba caught feelings for you. Yes, yeah, she had feelings for Nature Boy, but he wasn't your friend or your master teacher by disrespecting you as a man. Caring what they think and stop thinking that they care. 
some of y'all are living in the limitations of how other people are going to respond and whether or not they are going to accept you. What? Laying up with Sheba after y'all had a child. But you're sitting up there being loyal and riding for him, but Nature Boy would never ride for you. This is what I don't understand. This happens all the time in life, though. It's always the good people that get the short end of the stick. You try to treat people accordingly. You try to treat people like you want to be treated. But instead of them treating you good, they treat the people around them better than they treat you. True been dogged out since he came to Carbonation. He made him admit that he was drinking and he had possibly uh, was a possibility that he um, slept with his sister. Now, do you think True really wants to get up there and make a public announcement back in them days about the possibility of him being with his own sister? Why would anybody even want to bring that up? If you had any love for um, True, you wouldn't even have brought that up. He came to Carbonation because he was already running from himself. So why would you make what he was going through any difficult than it already is? What, what 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 was you getting out of that? You wasn't acting like a master teacher or a friend or a god then. You just wanted him to get up there and humiliate himself. You've been humiliating true for as long as we all know. And he wants to get up here on social media, on big old, straight disrespect. A lot of people that probably donated to them in the past or even now. Because they're, they're you people too. He's clowning them too. Because those people that give donations, they have jobs. They have the same jobs that true clowns and talks about. Which is nothing to really clown about. Because if they didn't work a job, you guys would be in the bushes somewhere with tents. Or in the forest somewhere with tents. Because if they didn't work a job, they wouldn't be able to afford to give you donations. For you to be sitting up here all day on Big O, doing rants, disrespecting every person that you can think of in any sort of way. But at the end of the day, we know who is really being disrespected. And that's true. He's disrespecting himself as a man to even tolerate half of what he put up with. He had had he has had time to sit with himself. He rather sit up underneath this carbonation movement and nature boy ain't going nowhere nature boy is about to do a bid now if you knew nature boy like you say you know him you should know the pattern of behavior what man goes to jail even if it was a skit and makes people who are watching him think the court system that he went to jail and starting to manipulate inmates nature boy don't be surprised if he ends up in isolation, 24 hour lockup because he's a threat to the unit and the COs want to go home to their families and they're afraid that the, the, the uh, cell block will get out of control because of Nature Boy having them under control. And then, you know, the cellmates, Lord knows what they might do. He don't think about all that. They're looking at all of that. That's why they haven't let Nature Boy out now, not even on a bracelet. Until, you know, they come up with what the verdict's going to be. Nature Boy should have been able to get out on a bracelet and be on house arrest and only able to go to court. But he wasn't able to do that. Why? Because he's a threat to society. True, Nature Boy did you a favor. You had your son saluting to Nature Boy, a little boy. That should be a, a little boy. Good thing CPS stepped in and said, listen, if you don't take this child out of this situation, we're going to have to take job. Good thing he's still young. He's not going to remember a lot of this. Thank the Lord. He's still so young. He's not going to remember this. But when he gets older, these videos will be floating around. Let's hope he doesn't run across any of them. Because, I mean, that, that could just shatter his whole world. 
things that he might be doing positive going forward in his life, high school, middle school, high school, college, you know, family, you know, it could devastate him to go on YouTube and run across a video of him saluting to a cult leader because his father was being foolish and acting like Nature Boy was his old lady and trying to follow a movement that's really not a movement. It's a bunch of foolishness. They all were mistreated over there, and now they have time to get away, and I just don't understand why they just won't go. It's just really sad that they're just not getting it. You know, and there's there's also possibilities that they could be um, brought in at a later date as co-defendants, and then they can end up in jail. And they're not looking at that. They're not taking any of this seriously. And if that's how you know that they have checked out, 